Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to talk about adrenal fatigue today and something that so many women struggle with and a lot of times don't even realize that it is an issue and it's what's keeping you from getting the results that you want to get with your health, with your body and everything else. So let's dive into adrenal fatigue. Now, this is a term actually that didn't really uh, become popular until like the mid-1990s. So if you're thinking, um, how come nobody else in my family suffered from adrenal fatigue? This sounds made up and like a new recent thing, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you know what? It, it People were probably had adrenal fatigue, you know, 50 years ago, 100 years ago. And they just didn't have a name for it and didn't identify it. So now they do. And this is a really important thing to focus on. So when we talk about adrenal fatigue, overall, what it is, is it's the result of high chronic stress in the body. So high chronic stress. People don't even realize that there's different types of stress. Acute stress, which can be helpful, and a natural reaction for your body is to rebound from that acute stress. Um, but chronic stress ugh, means you never get out of that stress cycle. It just constantly keeps going, and that can happen from trauma, from illness, from injury, um, from life, right? <laughs> like sometimes life just keeps throwing you things, and you're like, oh my God, will it stop? Uh, right? <laughs> Chronic stress. So with that being said, it's going to tax your adrenal. So your adrenal glands are actually on top of your kidneys, in your belly, on top of your kidneys. They're like tiny. They're little guys. They're not huge, but they're so important. Big deal. <laughs> they have a big job for being such little guys. <laughs> um, they produce cortisol for you. Again, either type of stress, chronic stress or acute stress. Acute is like short term. Chronic is the long, never ending stress. They still both produce cortisol and that's how your body is supposed to respond to stress. Now, important side note about humans and stress is this. Humans, um, you know, we'll be under stress much like animals, but when animals are under stress, like any, like your dog, right? Um, or, or like a deer, I talk about a deer in the woods, deer in the woods. is like just chilling, hanging out, munching on a leaf, minding his own business. And it hears something and it's like, <gasps> and then all of a sudden it'll take off through the woods. Boom. That's a stress response and it helps the deer stay alive. Much like the same, similar situations in humans, except for Hopefully nobody's chasing you in the woods, right? But it's going to increase your heart rate, increase your respiration rate, right? Your breathing, everything else. It's designed to keep you safe. But animals have this automatic switch off, right? It's a response and reaction to environment so that your body can stay safe and alive. But in animals, it has an automatic off switch. You'll see that deer five minutes later hanging out by a stream, just having a little drink, minding his own business, like cool as a cucumber again. Humans, not necessarily like that, right? You can, on your drive into work, almost get in a car accident and all of a sudden you're like, ah, and you'll feel that stress all dang day because that switch doesn't go off. That's the chronic stress. So keep that in mind as you're thinking about this. Could this be me? Could this be part of what's holding me back? Do you feel like you're under stress all the time? Then this may be you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So the other, the other thing too is that normally your adrenals are supposed to produce cortisol in a normal amount and have it be regulated and your body can process it and metabolize it and da 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 right? All these like fancy systems are supposed to happen with it. But if you're over or under producing as a result of the adrenal fatigue, it can do either. <laughs> so great that it can do either, right? Over or under producing cortisol, that's going to lead to the adrenal fatigue. Great right? Great. So that's what it is. Um, what does it feel like? These are just a few things that about how, it, how, what it can feel like for you. Fatigue overall. This can mean like, I don't even have the energy to even think about making a grocery list and going to the store, <sniffs> right? Like I can't even put the thoughts together to put the things down on a list. I'm just going to, you know, drive to the store and meander around aimlessly putting random stuff in my cart. <sniffs> And then you get home and you're like, why did I buy all this garbage? Oh, I don't even like this cereal. Blah. Yeah, because you're exhausted. You're like, is this isn't just like, oh, I'm tired. Oh, it's like, I'm so exhausted. I don't know how I'm going to put my pants on today. Yeah. And it's like physical exhaustion. It's mental exhaustion. It's emotional exhaustion. It's exhaustion on every single level of all the things. 
and 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 it's not always the same, right? So that's the tough thing. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Um, that's the tough thing, too, is that it's not always the same. Like, you can feel super exhausted one day, and then the next day feel like, well, I'm doing a little bit better. You know, this is okay. Why is this not consistent day to day? Because it's just not. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just not. There's other some, some other things, too. Dry skin. Um, you can have issues with your skin, hair, nails, um, some depression, anxiety, uh, decreasing blood sugar. So your blood sugar is going to be shifting, and you... Um, won't have a natural response to eating the regular food that you eat, the normal diet that you have. Um, and also not being able to handle stress. Like if an extra stressor comes in, you might be like, holy banana sandwich. I, I can't even, I can't even figure this out right now. Like it's just too much overwhelming. Oh my gosh. Right. That's a big clue for you that I can't handle any type of stress. Um, yes. Wild mood shifts too. Yes, absolutely. That's one of them. Yep. And then there's more, right? These are just a few things to kind of group together, um, to think about, oh my gosh, is this me? Is this part of what I've been experiencing? That type of a thing. <clears throat> How long does it take to really heal from adrenal fatigue? Um, it can take anywhere from 12 to 18 months. Yay. Why does it take so long? Ah, because cortisol is a big deal. <laughs> and when we talk about hormones, again, this is the one thing for women that I always want to stress is that your hormones are at least, at least on a 12-week cycle. So this is why I have my 12-week program where I work with women more one-on-one -on -one with a meal plan and nutrition to really target these things. We work through protein pacing, intermittent fasting, carb cycling, nutrition for hormones, to really focus on getting you past this point and on to a healthier track where your body functions better. So many women are trying to lose weight or do all these other things and you're like, oh, why is this not working? And if it's adrenal fatigue is part of it for you, you following a regular plan, like nutrition plan, not that it's bad, but it's just not the right fit for what you have going on. You're not going to get the right result. You're going to still feel fatigued and everything else because you're not addressing that issue, right? It's like if you got a huge cut on your hand and you're like, oh, you know, normally I would think that, you know, if you saw this on somebody else, you'd be like, oh my God, you need stitches, right? Like some huge gash on somebody's hand. You'd be like, you need stitches. But for you, you're like, I'll just get a little band-aid, right? I'll just get a tiny band-aid. That'll be fine. Like that's the equivalent of you trying to follow like, well, I'm just eating healthy. I'm eating clean. Maybe I'll do paleo. Maybe I'll just, you know, cut down sugars or cut out excess sugars, blah, blah, blah. I mean, great. Those aren't bad things to do. It's just not the right fit for this type of an issue. So in the 12-week program, I love working with women through these types of issues, helping you get your stress under control, helping you with the right nutrition tools and tactics to get your body turned around. And yes, right? When you start realizing that you're like, oh my God, this is me. You're like, holy crap. That's a thing. Yes, it's a thing. It's a thing. And when you realize it, you're like, oh man. So if you're realizing, oh my gosh, there's information here I did not know, please click the share button and share this with your friends because there's a lot of women out there who are struggling and they don't know that it's just, hey, it's this and this is how long it's going to take and these are the steps that you can take to make it better. So I would so appreciate it if you would help share this with other people that need this information. So what do you do, right? What do you do for adrenal fatigue? Well, this is, again, this is why I have my 12-week program to work with women more one-on-one. -on -one. I'll put a link in the video below where if you have questions and you want to schedule a call with me one-on-one, -on -one, we can chat about what you're struggling with and then um, if the 12-week would be right for you or just other things that you can try to help you get started on the right path because it can be a, such a frustrating place to be, to feel like, oh, I'm trying to go to the gym, but I just... I can't even get the energy to get there. And then if I do force myself to go, I barely can get through a workout, you know, effectively. And then I get more exhausted afterwards. That's another big key. If you are working out and you're feeling like I can't recover, I can't bounce back. I don't know what to do. What the heck is going on with my body that it just won't oof, restart and do things. This guy, the chronic stress here, chronic High chronic stress. How long can chronic stress be going on? Years. Years. It can be going on for weeks, days, weeks, or years. Yeah, seriously. Okay, so what do you do? <clears throat> Let's talk about the next step of things. 
Well, sleep and rest are gonna be really important and getting good sleep. Not just, oh yeah, I sleep, but I have trouble sleeping. If you have issues sleeping, that's gonna throw things off a ton. So really making sure you're getting the right amount of rest for you and your body and the right amount of sleep and the right type of sleep. Nutrient flood throughout the body. Just like when you think of a flood, yes, a nutrient flood. Why is that important for a nutrient flood? Meaning you're not just like eating healthy, you're getting protein, fat, and carb at every single meal. You're being really intentional about getting dense nutrients in the body. So foods that are like, they call them superfoods, right? Like what's so super about them? Like fly around with a little cape? Yes, totally. Yeah, kind of <laughs> in this situation. Yes, it's gonna make a big difference. Things like cereal, crackers, not nutrient dense food. Things like avocados, blueberries, right? We all know that like the healthier food options and choices. Um, the difference is, is that when you have adrenal fatigue and your body is like, and has a hard time coming back, Sometimes it feels like your body even has a hard time recovering from a normal day. Like you're like, I didn't even do much today. I, you know, did a load of laundry and I went to the store and then I, you know, watched some TV. Ugh, why am I exhausted? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're going to be exhausted. It's going to be exhausting. So that's a very, very normal feeling and experience. Um, so you need to get an extra amount of nutrient, meaning you can't waste those I don't want to, calories, right? Don't waste those calories on food that's not flooded with nutrients for your body. You want every single meal and every single time you eat to be food that is just going to nourish your body a ton. Um, and protein, fat, and carb in equal amounts does that and that's going to be fantastic. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Christine. <laughs> um, <clears throat> adaptogens. Adaptogens adaptogens. So many people don't know what adaptogens are. Again, if you're finding this helpful, share this video because more people need to know about these bad boys right here. Whew, my favorite, right? Um, for some people, they recommend to take a ton of supplements. I don't. Uh, there's some essential few and these guys right here, holy key, holy bananas. So key for your body. They literally help your body deal with stress. Mm -hmm. So when your cortisol levels wants to take off, Adaptogens go, nope, 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 buddy. Mm -mm. Keep it down. Keep it low. Keep it in check. Whew. That's what adaptogens do. They're beautiful and they're wonderful and your body will love you for taking them. If you're wondering about, again, what adaptogens are going to be right for you because there's different kinds, there's different blends that you can get. I like a blend of adaptogens. Um, again, click that link, schedule a call. We can chat about what would be right for you. And then nutrient timing. This piece is super essential because you need to keep your body, um, the timing of the nutrients in as for optimal recovery. Now, again, like I said, if you're working out, if you're trying to be active, great, great, grand, wonderful, super duper. But again, your body's not going to have a normal natural response to recovering as somebody else who doesn't have adrenal fatigue. So getting the right timing in for you on a daily basis and this can be for any like mild activity even. I mean, again, sometimes when people have adrenal fatigue, going to the grocery store, I use that example because it's, it's something you have to be, like, be prepared for, you have to write a list for, you have to like know what you're doing, be focused through the store. There's a lot of external you know, input there. Um, and, and then you're like carrying the groceries home and unloading them and da, da, da. like that can be a task that will exhaust you. And if you're thinking, oh, it's not a big deal, I'm just running to the store, I've done this a million times, whatever. No, if you have adrenal fatigue, it can be very taxing on the body, very tough. And if you're not nutrient timing around workouts and or regular activities that are tough, you're not gonna get the right result and it's gonna keep holding you back. So this is what I got for you guys today. Lots of solid info, lots of in-depth info, adrenal fatigue, talking about stress, how your body responds. Um, again, I do have my 12 week program where I work with women closely. You can click a link. We can chat about adaptogens, about nutrients for you, the timing maybe that you would need to really, to really get past this point here. Um, and then again, share this. If you, if you have found something helpful in it, please share it with others so that they can also learn about the adrenal fatigue and all of the cortisols that happen. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Thank you guys for listening and tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, 
you have any other questions or anything, you can also comment below the video. And uh, yeah, we can go from there. Yay. Happy St. Patty's Day. And I'll see you guys later.